Good afternoon, Your Honours. This is case number IT 0260-2S, the prosecutor versus Dragon Obrenovich. Thank you very much. For the sake of the records, could we have the appearances, please? For the prosecution? Yes, good afternoon, Your Honours, counsel. Um, my name is Peter McCloskey, and with me are Stephen Westby, Ann Davis, and Janet Stewart. Thank you. For defense? Good afternoon, Your Honor. David Wilson and Dusan Slyapchevich for Mr. Obrenovich, the accused in the case. Thank you. Mr. Obrenovich? I will hear the proceedings in the language that you understand. Yes, I can, Your Honor. Thank you very much. If there is any problem, please don't be hesitant. Let us know. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This hearing is for the trial chamber to deliver judgment in this case. What follows is a summary of the written judgment and forms no part of it. The written judgment will be made available to the parties and to the public at the end of this hearing. We are here today to sentence Dragon Obrenovich for his participation in the crime of, persecu of persecutions committed following the fall of Srebrenica enclave in July 1995. Mr. Obrenovich, a 40 years old Bosnian Serb, was indicted by the Office of the Prosecutor on 9 April 2001 for crimes including complicity in genocide, persecutions, and extermination. He was arrested by S4 on 15th April 2001 and transferred to the tribunal where he has remained in detention at United Nations Detention Unit. Dragon Obrenovich was jointly charged with three other accused and his trial commenced on the 14th May 2003. Upon the examination in chief of the first prosecution witness, the trial chamber was seized with a joint motion for consideration of a plea agreement between Dragon Obrenovich and the prosecution. A hearing was held to address the joint motion on 21st May 2003. At the conclusion of which, the trial chamber accepted Dragon Obrenovich's plea of guilt to one count of crimes against humanity, namely persecutions, punishable under Article 5H and Articles 7.1 and 7.3 of the statute, and entered a conviction thereupon. Pursuant to the plea agreement, the prosecution moved to dismiss the remaining counts, and, about, and they were subsequently dismissed. Additionally, under the plea agreement, Dragon Obrenovich agreed to testify in other proceedings before the tribunal, including those trials related to Sabrinica. In October 2003, Mr. Obrenovich testified in the trials of his two former co-accused for seven days. A sentencing hearing was held on 30th October 2003, at which four live witnesses were heard on behalf of the defense. The testimony of additional nine witnesses was admitted on behalf of the defense 
and five witnesses on behalf of the prosecution pursuant to Rule 92 b A written factual basis for the crime and for Mr. Obrenovich's participation in it was filed with the plea agreement. The factual basis and the indictment which Mr. Obrenovich acknowledged to be true forms the factual basis upon which the trial chamber will determine sentence. The facts described therein are as follows. The crime of persecutions as charged in count five of the indictment was carried out by following means. The murder of thousands of Bosnia Muslim civilians, including men, women, children, and elderly persons. The cruel and inhumane treatment of Muslim civilians, including beating of civilians in schools and other detention centers in the Zvanika in the Zvanika area on 13th through 16th July 1995. The terrorization of Muslim civilians from Srebrenica and Potchari from 13th to 16th July 1995. And the destruction of personal property and effects of Muslim civilians from Srebrenica who were detained and murdered in the Zvanik area. The detained men were moved out of Potchari for execution. <coughs> Similarly, the men who had escaped from Srebrenica in the column were captured and detained, pending execution. Along the route between Bratunac and Zvanik, the names previously used to mark settlements and communities or places of learning, culture, and work or geographic features are now used to identify the killing fields. Java River, Kuska Valley, Kravica Warehouse, Petkovica School, Pilica Cultural Center, the village of Tiso, and the Orochavach. At one occasion, Brajeva Military Farm, approximately 1,200 Muslim men who had been captured from the column were executed by automatic weapon fire. In total, over 7,000 men were murdered. The trial chamber has considered the principles and the purpose of punishment in light of the mandate of the tribunal. It found that principles of sentencing derived from national systems, namely deterrence, retribution, and rehabilitation are applicable on international level. The application and the purpose of each may, however, different when applied on the international level. The trial chamber recalls that a sentence is based on, indi on individual criminal responsibility. No individual should be punished for the criminal liability of others, and no case should be viewed as uh, representing the final accounting for a particular crime, especially crimes such as those committed following the fall of Srebrenica, for which numerous people may be held criminal liable. Each person must only be called to answer and to be punished for his particular share of the criminal activity. Turning to sentencing factors, the trial chamber first considered 
the gravity of the offense, bearing in mind that this requires taking account of the particular circumstances of the case, as well as the form and degree of participation of Mr. Obranovich in the crime. The trial chamber finds that crime of persecutions is inherently serious. Its unique character is derived from a requirement of specific discriminatory intent, on account of which the crime is regarded as a particularly serious offense. In this case, the gravity of offense is demonstrated by the persecutory acts for which Dragon Obranovich has been convicted. The crimes committed following the fall of Srebrenica are unfortunately well known. The mass murder of forced transfer of the Muslim population from this part of eastern Bosnia in slightly over one week was committed with the level of brutality and depravity not seen previous, previously in the conflict of the former Yugoslavia, which had already cost so many lives. Dragon Obranovich was deputy commander and the chief of staff of Zvanik Brigade. The brigade responsible for the municipality in which the vast majority of the execution took place. During the two days when many of these executions took place, he was the acting commander of the Zvanik Brigade. Dragon Obranovich, as he has admitted, took actions which furthered the killing operation. He released seven of his men to assist with prisoners, prisoners that he knew were brought to, Z to Zvanik to be shot. He approved the release of two military operators from the line, knowing that their task was the burial of the executed of executed prisoners. For these actions, Dragon Obranovich bears criminal responsibility. The trial chamber has heard that Dragon Obranovich was a man of exceptional character and a soldier, an officer, whose subordinate would follow him down to the barrel of the cannon. Although there are a few direct action that Dragon Obranovich took to further the murder operation, his inaction during these critical devastating days itself had an impact on those working with and end him. Dragon Obranovich spent most of these fateful days in the battlefield, but he was aware of the larger murder operation taking place. Through his failure to prevent his subordinates from participating in the detention, murder, and the burial of Bosnian Muslim men, Dragon Obranovich bears criminal responsibility. Though his failure to punish his subordinates after they committed crimes which he knew and had reason to know about, Dragon Obranovich bears criminal responsibility. Recognizing the various forms of criminal liability for which Dragon Obranovich has accepted responsibility, the trial chamber finds Dragon Obranovich's liability stems prim primarily, though not exclusively, from his responsibility as a commander.
The prosecution submits that three aggravating factors in this case should be considered by the trial chamber. First, the position of leadership of Dragon Obranovich. Second, the role of Obranovich as deputy commander. And thirdly, the vulnerability of the victims and the depravity of the crimes. The trial chamber finds Dragon Obranovich was in a position of authority as acting commander and the deputy commander of Zvonik Brigade. As Dragon Obranovich's criminal liability arises in large measures from his responsibility as commander pursuant to Article 7.3 of the statute, the trial chamber finds it would be inappropriate to use the same conduct to establish both liability and aggravating circumstance in this case. The trial chamber found that depravity of the crimes is subsumed in the overall gravity of the offense. The trial chamber takes particular note to the vulnerability of the witness, victims. They were all in the position of helplessness and were subject to cruel treatment at hands of their captors. In this situation, the trial chamber found this to be an aggravating factor in the commission of the crimes. The prosecution submits that the mitigating circumstances are the guilty plea, acceptance of responsibility, remorse, cooperation with the office of the prosecutor, and the previous good character. In addition to the factors listed by the prosecution, the defense admits that the fostering of reconciliation and the Dragon Obranovich's offer to voluntary surrender should be considered mitigating factors in this case. The trial chamber finds Dragon Obranovich's guilty plea and acceptance of responsibility is a significant factor in mitigation of the sentence due to its contribution to establishing the truth, promoting reconciliation, and because of Dragon Obranovich's unreserved and unqualified acceptance of his individual criminal responsibility for his role in the crime of persecutions. The trial chamber also considers Dragon Obranovich's guilty plea as a mitigating factor because it spared witnesses from being required to come and testify about painful and tra traumatic events. This is particularly appreciated in the case of Srebrenica, where there were numerous indictments brought by the prosecution, and the future trials will likely require presence of these witnesses. Finally, the trial chamber takes note of the fact that other accused have been given credit for pleading guilty before the start of the trial or at the early stage of the trial because of savings of tribunal's resources. The trial chamber appreciates this saving of tribunal's resources. The trial chamber finds, however, that in cases of this magnitude, where the tribunal has been entrusted by the Security Council and by extension the international community to bring justice to the former Yugoslavia through criminal proceedings that are fair, in accordance with international human rights standards and are caught due regard for the right of the accused and the interests of victims, the saving resources cannot be given undue consideration or importance. 
The trial chamber has carefully considered Dragon Obranovich's exp expression of remorse and his apologies to the victims for his participation in it, what he described as the horror of Sabrinica. Through his statements and his actions, the trial chamber finds Dragon Obranovich is genuinely remorseful for his role in the crimes for which he has been convicted, and seeks to atone for his criminal conduct. Therefore, the trial chamber considers Dragon Obranovich's remorse to be a substantial mitigating factor in this case. In considering cooperation with the prosecution, the trial chamber notes that the prosecution acknowledges full cooperation from Dragon Obranovich. The trial chamber found that Dragon Obranovich provided truthful testimonies and detailed information in the Blagojevich's trial regarding his knowledge of the events related to Sabrinica and the VRS made restructure. The trial chamber agrees with the prosecution that Dragon Obranovich answered each question as clearly and precisely as he could, regardless of whether it was asked by the prosecution, defense counsel, or the trial chamber. The trial chamber further notes that he testified in Kirstich appeals proceedings, and he has further agreed to testify in other proceedings. In addition, he assisted the prosecution by providing it with numerous documents relevant for the Blagojevich's case and the investigations in other cases. The trial chamber also finds Dragon Obranovich is cooperated with the prosecution during the investigation phase, when he permitted prosecution to conduct a, a search of the Zvanik Brigade property. The trial chamber found substantial cooperation with the prosecution in this case to be a significant mitigating circumstances. Based on the evidence presented, the trial chamber found that Prior to the war, Dragon Obranovich was a highly respected member of the community and did not discriminate against anybody. Furthermore, the trial chamber found, based on the testimony, and even during the war, Dragon Obranovich provided help on an ongoing basis to several Muslims whom he previously had not known. The trial chamber found this to be an important mitigating factor. The trial chamber recognizes this meeting, these mitigating factors to be steps taken towards rehabilitation. Additionally, the trial chamber has established the following mitigating circumstances. Offer of voluntary surrender, comportment in the UNDU, and the personal circumstances of the accused. The criminal responsibility borne by Dragon Obranovich for the widespread and systematic crime committed following the fall of Sapnica must reflect his individual criminal conduct, his action and his omission. Without diminution in any way, the criminal conduct of Dragon Obranovich, the trial chamber recalls that he is not alone in bearing criminal responsibility for the massive crimes committed against Muslim population. 
he, need, he did not conceive of the murder operation. His punishment must therefore reflect only his role and the participation in the crime of, persecu of persecutions. Others who should one day face judgment before this tribunal will accordingly be judged and sentenced for their roles. The trial chamber has found there exist in this case numerous mitigating circumstances upon which the trial chamber has placed substantial weight. Through his acceptance of responsibility and his guilty, his sincere remorse, his substantial cooperation with prosecution, and his character, Dragon Obranovich, has mitigated his sentence. The trial chamber stresses that the allocation of significant weight to the mitigating circumstances in this case should not be interpreted as dismissal of the gravity of the offense for which Dragon Obranovich has been convicted. The trial chamber has considered the scale of the crimes in which Dragon Obranovich participated. The trial chamber has further considered the impact of these crimes on the victims and their survivors. Both are enormous. As the trial chamber has stressed to both parties, to Dragon Obranovich, it is not bound by their recommendations relating to the sentence. The trial chamber has carefully considered the submissions and the recommend, recommended sentence by each party. Mr. Obranovich, please rise. Having given due weight to factors set out, the trial chamber hereby sentenced you to a period of 17 years imprisonment. You are entitled to 969 days credit for the time you have served in the detention as of the date of this sentencing judgment. You may sit down, please. The hearings are adjourned. All right.